Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here back in the Outer World. Now, last time we cleared out this little encampment, we have Nyoko with us, and of course good old Parvati. We currently do not have, uh, Vicar Max with us because Nyoka wanted to come along, but let us quickly check our journal. What do we need? Bolt with his name. We could return to Sanjar, but I'm not going to. Uh, meet with Catherine, who's in Fallbrook, and Fallbrook... That's a little way south of us. So we're going to pay for the printer. Let's go and do that. Let's see what that's like. How do, oh, I'm going to go this way then. Alright, so yeah, last time we liberated Huxley from her closet. Because she did not pull up on the lever. Here we go. It doesn't really do as much damage as I would have liked it to. Also, I did, like, kill off one group of Raptodons between this episode and the last. I'll let you know that. But, I could have taken a flaw, like Raptophobia, which would have really hurt my stats. But I chose not to take the flaw, just because I already have one flaw. I might have two. I think just one, though. Hey, it's the twins. Surprised you two needed backup. Oh, the twins. The Van Noy. Von Noy. Hello. Nioka, you're a sight right now, I'll tell you what. We are up a creek. I bet. You really come this far north for a printing press? Yeah, I know, I know, but that's the mission. Don't suppose y'all are busy right now. Not at all. Actually, he sent me to secure the press. Oh, it ain't worth it. We ought to pull out. Keep spewing that sulfur. I'm liable to leave you to the rafts. What my well-meaning idiot of a brother intends to say is, we appreciate the assist. All right, get back to Amber Heights. I'll take it from here. Would that we could. We ain't leaving our men behind, and they ain't moving on their own. Our medic has got our trauma kit, but we got separated. We ain't seen him in a couple of hours. Uh oh. Any got any idea where he went? Yeah on account of giving him the order. He's searching the old settlement to the north of the press. All right, I'll see if I can find him. Interesting. So the medic's over there. There's a lot of dead raptodons, which is, I guess, kind of nice to see, I suppose. Um, oh, but there's still enemies around here. Oh, right there. I'm ready for this. this isn't doing as much damage as I would have liked it to. And that one's dead. That one's not. Got it. They got all sorts of spitters. Oh, got to reload, of course. Are the Van Noys doing something? I, I hope they are. You know, I'm going to take a little breath for Nyoka. She's not looking so good right now. Got it. Just got a no scope sometimes. And take a lot of corrosive damage on a planet that has so much corrosion. Ah, oh, terrible. Well, let's switch guns now. Let's try something else out. Ah, oh, this one's not too bad. Let's go to the medic first. A lot of raptodons around here. Oh, but there's a big. A col oh, a colossus. Ah, uh, what should I use? A revolver is always fun to use. Oh, never mind. Two Colossi. You know what? I think I'll just use this one. I'm going to take a breather. A breather. Not a breather. Because Nyoka and Parvati need it, and I need them alive right now. God dang it, Parvati. Or Nyoka. God dang it, Parvati now. Oh, crap. This is not good. Holy cow. Right. Just in case I get attacked by that big boy. He's on fire. I like it when he's on fire. That's a lot of sludge. I'm glad to put more armor on my on me. Yeah, burn, you stupid raptor on. Oh yeah, you lunge and you die. Beautiful. 
give me your hide, give me your meat. I love your meat. Nothing. Alright. Not bad, and they're back alive. I don't I really don't mind using more and more of my uh, inventory just because it takes a little bit of weight. And we have a lot of stuff, so. No wonder the uh medic got downed or missing for a few hours. Uh, Mahler, nothing here. This revolver did like nothing to that, so. I need new weapons. Icon oh, Iconoclast without a head. Maybe a few bits here or there. Maybe a bin here or there. Very nice. Bypass shunt. Another bin or three. Very good. Nice. Oh, or five. Five bins. Wait, what is that? What did we just pick up? Plasma. Oh, level 21. That's definitely better than what we have with this level 13 one. Go and throw that on there. Um, flamethrower. Eh. This is level 17, which shouldn't be bad at all, but didn't do a lot of damage. Spacer's choice, of course, which is what we're currently using. We have flamethrowers, but they're okay. Yeah, probably switch to the plasma rifle for now. Parvati, you got that. For now? You know, I'm just going to give her a flamethrower. Because why not? And you got this machine gun, which is okay. <sighs> cool. Everything else here? Level 4, just go ahead and get rid of that. 15's not bad. Leaded armor, but that's okay. Uh, 42! Holy cow! I like it. It's worth quite a bit. I'm going to probably sell that. Wow, 36. That's pretty good, too. Actually, you know what? We can probably give that to Parvati, then, or somebody. Let's give it to Parvati. I love the tech skills, but 42 armor, so you don't die. That's probably worth that. Plus 36. Oh, now we got a badass Parvati. I'm not going to upgrade Nyoka, just because I'm going to probably swap her out to back to Vicar Max. So, um... Oh! Oh! You're kind of dead. Euthanasia kit. Well. Well then. Um, you lost one. You definitely lost one. Alright then. Go ahead and talk to them. Oh. They have insurgents up there. Okay. Any luck out there? I found your trauma kit. Your medic's dead. Oh, fuck. <laughs> well, that's better than nothing. Thanks. We'll head out as soon as we're patched up. You're welcome. And I got 7,500 XP. And it's time to repair the printing press. Actually, I don't want to use that. I want to not use that either. Give me your body. So this is a new plasma rifle that we just picked up. Oh, there's a side door. Let's go in the side door. Terra 1 Publications. Terra on Monarch. Ah, oh, beautiful. Oh, examine. Finals, Shuster C. To whom it make it. Sir, if you want to read this, you can pause it right now. And finish re re reading it right there. Caden, Shuster. Awesome. Mag picks. Bypass shunts. Pick the lock. Open it up. Ah, oh, yes. Resources. Oh, yeah, we might as well pick it, because why not? We got plenty of stuff. Still want to do more lock picking uh, skills. 94 bits. That was. Eh, I don't know if that was really worth it. Shipment status on masks. Hasn't having trouble breathing at all. None of our guards have had asthma attacks here. Alright. Olfactory something. Alright. Replacement rollers. Retaining efficiency in all environments. Alright then. Anything else around here? There's a vendor. Let's go and sell some stuff. Mag picks. Someone dropped a bunch of stuff. It's fine with me. Alright, let's go and sell some stuff. 20% discount. I love a 20% discount. We got a lot of stuff we could sell. The vermin, it's, I think, uh, at this point it's probably just not even worth having. I'm going to keep the shrink rate for now. Anarchist cookbook was okay. Really? I'm just gonna get rid of all the stuff. It just costs... Oh, crap. Oh, God. I did not... What did I, what did I just sell? What was that? And, and, uh... I did make quite a few bits from that. Whatever. And we will go ahead and sell that. That's nice and all, but whatever. And whatever. Um, all this stuff. It's pretty good. Sell all junk. Nice. 
I only want two of every mod. Don't think, don't think I'm really going to use too much of any one thing. Alright, very good, very good. Alright, let's get our kill on. Oh, that thing just got taken down easy. It's okay, Parvati. That's why you don't melee these guys. Any more? Nice. Not bad, not bad. Parvati only took a few hits. I took a hit or two. Pick up Chronofield Aggregator. Awesome. Not sure what that is, but I'll take it. Hide and stuff like that. Model spaceship. Bad. Just you know, a lot of dead animals. Ah, oh, furry thingies, scaly thingies. Flamethrower, locker, locker, locker. I hardly know her. Hmm. Anything over here? Anything around here? Well, before we go upstairs, let's check out uh, this entire floor first. Oh, there is another thingy, another bin with nothing in it. Ah, oh, workbench. Cool. Um, you know, let's, let's use it, because we currently are using a new plasma rifle, so we might as well install a mod. A quiet muzzler, or fun times barrel. More crit damage sounds good to me, and we have two of those. Yes, please. More magazine size, magnum, mag to power, plasma. I, I don't like changing the type of damage it does, so I'm just probably going to use... Honestly, I really don't even need to use Magnum either, because we already have like 40 rounds in this anyways. It's not bad. Currently have Iron Sights, which I kind of prefer the Iron Sights. Gyro Sight, Range, Weapon Spread. I kind of like the Iron Sights. Eh, let's use that. That's not too bad. Cool. Anything else here? Mmm... Not really. Ooh, look at all this stuff around here. All the dead bodies. Well, I guess the Iconoclasts were in here before. That's not good. Light Assault Rifle, Mark II. I got an email, but I'm not going to read it now. Actually, I actually have a lot of homework due today, the time I am... at the time that I'm currently recording this. Bolter Pistol. Uh, we found some of those already. Examine, Safety, Announcement, Draft. Blah, 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 blah. No one cares. Safety. That's for scrubs. Oh, it's going outside. God dang it, body. Always getting in the way of my kills. Um, anything around here? Nope, just a lot of corrosion. Kind of a storage place. Very nice. Ah, uh, we must also use some of these. Oh, is that magpix? Ordnance control, that's okay. Hatchet and elixir. Tasty. Then, all right, and I guess we'll go upstairs now. Even though we could have gone through that door, we'll come back. Not like this place is very big. Oh, it's barred. Oh, that's not good. Well then, we're all the way back down here now. Hello there. I gotta keep an eye on how much ammo I use. Don't have a ton of uh, the special weaponry. Packs of stuff. Beautiful. No one's gonna miss this stuff. Uh, light ammo? Sure. I'll take whatever ammo I can get, I suppose. I can always buy more ammo. I've got 25,000 bits. Ooh, shotgun. Nice. But then again, I tried shotguns earlier in this game and I'm like, not what I really liked. Uh, you know what? I'm sticking true to my word. Let's finish off the floor first. And we finished it off. Okay. Awesome, awesome. Hello. Nobody's in here. Can I have that? Thank you. Can I have all this stuff? Thank you. Can I have you? No. Mac picks. Thank you. Bit cartridges. Terminal. Terry's birthday. Oh, we're not celebrating it? Oh, he's dead. Oh. And now we're leaving. Terra 1 Hazard Claws. 
Interesting. Well, I'm sorry about Terry. This looks locked, and that's okay with me. Right control armor. No one cares. Bits. Wasteful stuff. And a terminal. Install rollers. Press 6 is now operational. Oh, is that it? Cool. Ah, a little bit more XP. Glorious, glorious, glorious. Glorious, glorious. We got a vendor here. We might as well use it, right? Picked up, looted everything here. Nice. So, uh, I'm not really interested in using these pistols. Rifle, that's not bad. I'm not interested in rifles, though. Oh, maybe I shouldn't sold the thing I just sold, but whatever. Level 1 hatchet? Probably not worth keeping. Probably not. Armor pieces? No, no. That's pretty good, but, well, we can find some more later. Awesome. Let's get out of here. Nice, not bad. The printing press was a lot faster than I thought it would be. But then again, it's only a printing press. There's probably not too many operations that occur in a printing press. Let's check on the tab real quick. So we can go back to Grant, but we're not going to do that. We can go back to San Jar, but we're not going to do that either. Uh, visit Hayes' grave. Where is that? Oh, it's down there. Okay. Oh, back. Go back to the journal. The Empty Man. When you get a Fallbrook. Groundbreaker. Investigate the outpost. Little memento. We could probably go down there. Let's go ahead and go to Amber Heights. Let's finish everything off there first. While clicking on... Pay for the printer. We'll finish Amber Heights, or whatever we can right now. And they'll continue south to see Fallbrook and... Places where everyone else wants to be at. Alright. I ought to mention, the Iconoclasts are loyal folk. Treat them right, they'll do the same. Turn on them, they'll open fire without a second thought. I'm the same way. If you'll just listen... No, no more listening, no more preaching. We are losing people left and right. We need to act. Enough, Zora, I'm not putting the torch to innocent people. Do you want to bring the board's cruisers and gunships down on us? Captain, apologies, but our situation grows dire. Our people talk of foolish endeavors. What news do you bring? At their gunships, they sure didn't stop me from landing here. The printing press is all yours. Excellent. Did you find the Vanois? Nope, they're dead. Yep. Thank the Eternal. Nice. We're one step closer to bringing the truth to every man, woman, and child in Halcyon. This plan's brilliance is in its subtlety. For the time being, let us cease our activities on the tower, lest we bring premature attention upon us. I have much to do. Articles to write, sermons to ponder. We live in such an exciting time. Let's talk later. Sermons? For the love of... I'm going to see to the wounded. Nice. Very nice. I got some Iconoclast Apostle armor. Now, how does that look? 37, plus 5 melee weapon skills, plus 10 defense, plus 10 melee weapon skills, plus 20, 20 kilogram carrying capacity. Not bad. I currently have 32 armor, which isn't as good. But I can still upgrade my part. And if I wear the Iconoclast armor, what does it look like? It looks okay. I look like a Hellgas soldier now from my kill zone. It's a little bit more form fitting. Gonna need to buy myself an entire Rizzo tag after all this. Alright, so we talked to him. Was there anything else here in Amber Heights? Weapons from the Voids, Little Memento, Stellar Bay, Agnes, Catherine. Oh yeah, I forgot to look at the Family Matter. Well then. Let's go ahead and do meet Catherine. And we're going to go ahead and spawn outside there. Twelve amazing episodes! I'm also joined here by my cat Binky, who well, is sleeping on my chair. Now if I touch Binky while he's sleeping on my chair, he'll start getting upset for some reason. Not sure why, but he'll start getting upset. And then he'll start biting my clothes and being very loud, and I don't want him to do that right now. Right, Bink? That's right. Cool. Uh... Watch it. His tools don't just stink. They'll take a toe off. Just one toe? Ah, oh, I love these plasma stuffs. Of course not. I do 
do want to save some of this ammo just in case. Let's make it the difficulty a little bit higher. By not using that, but by using a revolver. Oh, okay. Not bad. Okay, not bad. I don't feel like picking that stuff up. The Fallbrook, though. The Fallbrook. Oh, there's some... Here we go. I'm trying to snipe with a revolver. I should have used my... Oh, God. Let's use this real quick. Hello, goon. Can't believe I didn't kill you, but all right. Oh, hello. Cower in fear and then die. I'll let my partners take him out. Um... Anything else? Any other bodies? Yeah, there's a body over here. Nothing on him though. Everyone all right? Good job, girls, females, whatever you are. Good job. Awesome. Very good. Pretty easy when you got some pretty powerful companions. Even though they die quite often. Ah, oh, Fallbrook, finally. Let's see, we can go to Amber Heights on the right, even though it's really back that direction, but okay. Cascadia, we might need to go to Cascadia, but let's go to Fallbrook. I'm sure there's at least a few things that we need to do here. We also went to the Bayside Terrace. On the other side of the bridge there, if you need to drink. But, uh, it was closed. Halfway to the mountain, so might consider stopping in. To Catherine. Faux windows, order now. Spacer's choice. Once you've had the best, now try the rest. Mortimer Bell. Trouble checking in? Or you might need directions to the amenities? If you're locked out of your cabin, a replacement key costs 50 bits. Tell me about the amenities. No reservation, no problem. Day trippers are always welcome in our saloon. Straight back and to the right. If you hit the falls, you've gone too far. Check in with Ms. Malin. She'll set you straight. I am here to anticipate and facilitate your needs, patron. Uh, where am I? Guess it's true. Fallbrook really is the best kept secret in all of Monarch. Excepting the Borst Factory secret ingredient. We're a leisurely stopover for the more adventurous spacefaring traveler. Understand? Me no comprehendo. Swell. We like quick on the draw types like you. Saloon is straight back and to the right. Once you're feeling sated, you're welcome to a private cabin. Only two fifty a night. Ms. Malin can let you one if you're interested. She's the one who runs this racket. All right, um, where's Catherine? You, uh, you're looking for Ms. Malin. On an errand for the boss lady? Oh, uh, that sounds ominous. Yeah. Uh, Ms. Malin won't like that a whit. All right, it's okay. Just point me towards her. She's... She's not but just down the way. A ten to one says she's either pouring drinks or skinning a sprat in the saloon. Uh, word to the wise. Ms. Malin don't take kindly to interlopers. When I said sprat, I didn't mean the sort with whiskers and a tail. All right, well, thank you very much. Oh, well, this is certainly... Sublight. Town, I think. Nelson. Take a gander at that mug. I ain't ever seen someone so adept looking my whole life. Watch yourself, Captain. This guy's got eyes like a sprat set on stealing your dinner. That's awfully kind of you, mister. Oh, now, come on. All I mean is, well, rather that, uh, you don't seem like the usual pigeons we pluck. No offense, of course, if you are a Byzantium goldblood. Say, I'd like to do you a favor. Might I interest you in a surefire scheme? Do me a favor? All right. Do you go on? It's no flattery when it's true. Pure and simple, it's like this. I run our drug delivery service. Recently, I had the genius idea to cut costs in half by swapping our auto loaders with faster, cheaper sprats. So we pocket the half you save. That's a stroke of sheer brilliance. See? I know a fellow genius when I clap eyes on him. Too right you are. Only problem is my sprat carriers ain't arrived from their latest run. As I was saying, you look more capable than most of the hoople heads around these parts. What say you locate him and retrieve the goods for me? 
In return, I'll cut you 5% of the profit. 5%? Make it 35 plus a sample of the goods and you got a deal, Wink. Thirty-five 35%? Are you... Are you out of your gourd? If I wasn't recovering from a bout of Margellans, I wouldn't stand for this. But things are what they are, so... I'll agree to it. But not half a percent more. My Sprat nice. carries Fury back and forth through the shipping tunnels. Any trail ought to start there. When you've got the goods, I'll be here. That's what you do for 100 persuasion, my fellas. Ah, yes. Thug. Patron, patron. Hello. Yep, better close the door. I just closed the door for a reason, companions. Come on. Alright. A little laggy. Oh man, it's definitely getting laggy in here. Holy cow. Come on, 1080 Ti, you got this. You seen Arthur today? Man, last time I saw him. Hello? Patron? Patron? You don't think... Is this where that one girl was from when we were back on Edgewater? Because look at the hats. I like the hats. We can go upstairs. Thug. Insurance agent. Welcome to the offices of the Greater Halcyon Insurance Booth. Halcyon's premier provider of life and disaster related insurance. I'm obligated to inform you that our coverage does not extend to incidents deemed to result from negligence, criminal activity, or dullness of mind. Uh, duly noted. So, what kind of insurance package can I interest you in? We're running a special on dismemberment policies. Buy one, get one half off. Why is your office on Monarch? We're not on Monarch. For all practical and tax-related purposes, this office is an official enclave of Byzantium. Huh. Okay, why's that? Legally speaking, corporations are not allowed to operate on Monarch. But financially speaking, there are certain costs to running a business from within Byzantium's walls. So while our official address is in the city, and while our office here is technically an extension of that address, we found it more expedient to conduct our key operations here. So we can... What's the phrase? Pass savings to the consumer, of course. Oh, you say so. Oh, it's certainly not about what I say. That's all down to our legal team and our CFO. So what can you tell me about your insurance policies? Plenty. As my boss likes to say, there's a policy for every situation and an exclusion for every policy. Of course. We've insured unusually expressive eyebrows, outrageous statements, disastrous marriages. And... Outrageous statement insured? That policy is almost exclusively for our corporate clientele. In the unlikely event they make a claim about a product that turns out to be less than accurate, they need some kind of protection against the damage to their sales and reputation. And eyebrows? Usually character actors, or corporate execs with menacing stares. Marriages. Those are mostly for top rungers in Byzantium, who have a lot of social and financial capital wrapped up in their marriage contracts. There's one for your beloved eloping with her sibling, your beloved eloping with their Wait, sibling, Scandalous rumors forcing you apart, the revelation of a secret love child. We try to cover every possible hazard to domestic bliss. Okay. One thing's for sure. You won't find better policy protection against sudden lunar implosions anywhere in Halcyon. Uh, okay then. Hello. Can't see me if I'm... I've done nothing wrong. I could hack this. Hello. I wonder if I can go outside. Ooh. If the thing can go... Oh, there's a bin. If the thing can go outside and I can have a good time in here by myself. The cost cutting, not four legs, but just three. All right. Recent records, Ahmed, Ahmed. Fanny, lots of three fingers, 
C and P. Turn to root. Well, that wasn't very interesting. Alright then. Is there anything else we can talk about after we saw the records? I see you're still in one piece. However, you never know when that could change. Consider our accidentally torn into tiny fragments coverage. Note that all of your fragments must be recovered and must be smaller than a standard bit cartridge for the payouts to kick in. Okay, nope, that didn't help me at all. So that was kind of a waste, at least for now. Uh, Draw Goods and Sundry. Lyanna Reed. Hungry? I'm famished myself. No rubbernecking. Make a buy or move on. Um, I don't think I have very much. Wow, that's a big discount for buying. For selling stuff, I really don't have very much. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and sell this. Yeah, sell that, sell that, whatever. I don't even want to look at it. Um, any more junk? Just a little bit more junk. This stuff, I'll get rid of one of those. Actually, backpacks are probably, probably a good idea to keep, whatever. And how about Lionel Reed? You shopping for pre-owned or new? If you bloody it, you buy it. Store policy. All right. Uh, who's top dog? Town sublight owned and run. Caters to a variety of clientele. The one you want to avoid pissing off the most is Catherine. Prove bad for her business, and she'll kneecap you without a second thought. All right. And a town built into the side of a mountain. Yeah, and? Do I look like the city planner? I wasn't exactly consulted on the blueprints when Catherine started building out Fallbrook. But now that you mention it, I reckon she had her reasons to hide us. From who? We got smugglers, outlaws, mavericks, and Byzantium socialites flying in and out of Fallbrook all the time. Why openly spin in the board's eye? Fair enough. Take it you're one of them yourself. Well, if you don't learn nothing else about Fallbrook, rest assured on this much. Your bits are always good with me. Alright, well, I already sold all my stuff. I don't really need to sell too much more. Is there anything this way? No. Alright. We will wrap up this video with us talking to Catherine, so that'll be important. Alright. Oh. Hello. Oh, I beg your Whoa. Pardon. Can you not see I'm walking here? You don't look like you're walking. Physically, you mean? In my mind, I have traveled galaxies. Well, it is of no consequence, I assure you. I shall embark shortly with my legs. To where? I'm not entirely decided. If I'm being honest, I think I'd fancy a visit to Tartarus, so long as it's under the shield of my fantastical imagination. All right, carry on. Come on, you're my way. No, I'm in her body. If only. Alright. We were there. Patrons, patrons, Niles. Alright. Wesley. Can I talk? You don't look like a smuggler nor a dandy. Catherine send you back here? On second thought, it's best if I don't know. What's your order? Got any glacial age whiskey? No, I don't have any... If it's only a drink you're after, the full bar's upstairs. This here's the ante up, where you place your bets. Oh. What can I bet on? Toss ball, auto loader races, card games, you name it. I ain't picky. And neither is Catherine. We'll both break your legs if you lose, then shirk on paying. Alright. I'll get out of your weird here. Niles. Hey, if it ain't the cleaner, how'd the disposal go? Was it messy? I hope it was messy. Not sure who that person is. Um, who are these people? My bit carts are fully loaded and ready to be spent. All right, Catherine. Uh huh. You blind fella, or can you not see I'm busy? Why is it every sissy pig fucker who strolls into my town expects me to smile and shout awful friendly? Welcome to Fallbrook. Only nugget of paradise in this entire law-forsaken land. Like a boy damn advert. Oh, she just, uh, just comes and says whatever's on her mind, huh? Truthfully spoken, I do aim to properly represent my aforementioned nugget of paradise. Um, if by nugget of paradise you mean piece of manta dung, then sure. Charm? You know, I ain't heard that one before. 
Nice. Suppose I'll have to work harder to show you just what makes our town shine. But first, I'll need to know what brings you, stranger. Well, I'm half listening. I'm the fixer for your sublight problem. Good of you to finally haul your ass over here. I wired for backup weeks ago. Got something that's going to require special extraction from Cascadia. All right. How special? Special as in unlawful, delicate, and deadly. As to the something, no, it ain't a person. Not this time. All right. One of my runners uncovered a cache of Alta Vitae gas left in a lab when the board abandoned Cascadia. To extract the gas, you'll need to siphon it from the lab in Cascadia into one of your ship's fuel tanks. Totally safe. Totally. I can get it done. I do like your gumption, but let's not be hasty. To get to the gas, you'll need to navigate through the town, which is overrun by marauders. Okay. The lab itself has become an infested nest, crawling with man -teeps. You gotta fight through or figure out some other way to exterminate them. Maybe the ventilation system? Alright, no problem. And will again. We ought to be taking any opportunity we get to bury those critters in lead. Direct and aggressive. I always did like your sensibilities. You know when to strike and when to wait. Shame what came of your crew. Oof. Crews are for ships. They were a family. Close enough. Now, after you clear the manti nest and reach the storage room, all that's left is to get the gas flowing into the fuel system. The task will require someone with technical skills. Or you could force it through with a plasma overload. Don't recommend that option, though, unless you want to get dead. Good thing we have an engineer. Load vapors into a liquid propellant tank? I think I know how to do that. No, I can do that. I think. Yes. Mostly? Definitely. Dandy. Did I mention the gas is of an extremely volatile nature? Nope. Handle it with the utmost of kit. Once you've got our goods, take them to the groundbreaker. Lilia's fencers ought to handle the rest of it. I've marked the coordinates for you to the lab in Cascadia. Use the passcode antediluvian on the terminal to get in. But before you make your run, I could use a heavy helping hand regarding a local issue. For a fine fee, of course. Uh, sure. Good. This particular matter of opportunity has been eating at me for a while now. There's a Borst factory on up the way, run by a man who calls himself the King. Clive Lundberg, insufferable prick. That aside, it's a business ripe for the plucking. I want it. Clear as that. It's gonna involve murder and mayhem, huh? Stars, I hope so. Clive Lundberg, the self-proclaimed <clears throat> worst king of Monarch, is swimming in profit and drowning in his ego. He's making the only meal to be had this side of Monarch, and I'm tired of ponying up for my dinner. I want that forest factory. Owner dead or alive. And you're the soon-to-be-handsomely-paid son of a bitch who's gonna get it for me. Um... Alright, easy as eating a sisty pig pie. Guess you've got it figured out, then. Good. Hit him where it hurts. In his gut or his production lines ought to make do. Any tips how I might get in? If you got brass knockers, you can shoot your way through the front gate. If you don't fancy getting shot to shit, you can try asking Duncan for a disguise. Hmm. Might be another way in, assuming you're courageous enough to trek the sewers. Avoid a fine all. Alright. What if I want to sabotage it? Then I'd say you might care to poison the sisty pigs, doctor a few financial records, or throw a wrench in the canning machinery. Sounds good. And what if I wanted to kill him? Sometimes the simplest solution is the sweetest. I don't give a wit about the method or the means, just the end. Alright, sounds good. It'll be more than good when you're finished. Maybe not for Clive, but for me and you, I'm sure. Oh, and if you don't fancy going in guns blazing or crawling through a sewer pipe, see Duncan in the dry goods and sundry building. He ought to have an employee ID in that stash of illicit goods he keeps for select clientele. 
May luck be with you, since I won't be. All right, then. She's pretty uh, upfront about a lot of things. Um, I'll take that. Okay, I got the sublet ID. Very nice, but that's unfortunately all the time that we have for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my Discord link below, and I will see you tomorrow, and I hope you all have a great, great day.